Hallelujah. Amen. That is why in our life today, when you are sick, when you are going through problems, when you are going through persecution, instead to go to the master of all healings, you go to Mother Boo. And you're a Christian. You go to Mother Boo. Lazarus was sick. His sister did not give up on Jesus. His sister still had faith that if God was in this place, Lazarus would not have died. The power of the presence of God. And yes, if Jesus Christ was there when Lazarus was sick, he would not have died. Hallelujah. Amen. He would not have died. But even though he was not there, Lazarus died. He did not still give up. He proved to be God on earth, in heaven and beneath the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. He proved that devil is the master of all liars. That the devil might delay, but he can never deny. That thing that you are going through, the devil might be delaying you. That you should not get your healing now. That that problem should not finish now. That that persecution should not finish. He can only delay. That is his work. That is the only thing that the devil can do to delay. Except God give permission to the devil to deal with your flesh. The devil has no power over you. As a child of God, when you carry God, the devil has no power over you. Hallelujah. Amen. When you carry the presence of God in you, when you carry Christ in you, the devil can only torment with your life, but he cannot kill you. Hallelujah. Amen. You can see in the life of Job, the devil dealt with Job. The devil dealt with Job. He killed all Job's children. All his property down. His finance down. Everything about Job down. He has beaten Job with a disease. But Job said, I will stand with my God. Hallelujah. Job said, I will stand with my God. You saw how the devil dealt with Job. But God did not give him the permission to kill Job. Even in our life today, as you give your life to Christ, as you believe in God, as you are born again, a child of God, the devil has no power over you. Even in death, even in death, the devil could not see what Lazarus not to come back to life. Hallelujah. Amen. And when Jesus Christ died, the Bible said he appeared in heaven. They look at him and said, What is this man? A righteous man in heaven. What are you doing here? He said, I came to collect this key. The Bible said he collected the key of life and gave it all to all. And said, All power has been given unto you in heaven and on earth. God has given us the power is in our hand. That is how much Christ loves us. He already paid the price for you. The devil has no power over you. The devil has no hand over your life. The devil can only mess with your life. But he has no power. That is why he cannot kill you. Except God gives you permission. Yes. Because he went to God and said, give me the permission. He said, this man is a righteous man. Give me a permission. Let me deal with him and see if he will still serve you. It means before anything happens with you, God knows. God knows everything that you are going through. And it's just a matter of time. It will be over. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It will be over. Just a matter of time. When Lazarus was sick, his sister thought that all hope is gone. When he died, all hope was gone. They never knew that the master is still coming. The master is still on his way, coming. When they told Martha that Jesus is coming, she was the one that ran to Jesus and said, Master, your friend Lazarus is dead. It's four days that we are buried Lazarus. If you were here, he would not have died. But I know that whatever thing that you ask from God, God will give it to 
you. And Jesus said, your brother will rise again. Hallelujah. Amen. That problem that you are going through is finished in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's finished in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because Jesus Christ is the resurrection. He is the power. He is the light. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, whoever believed in him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Amen. But shall have everlasting life. 